Uh, today we're going to talk about the SPI sputter coater. Um, this is an older sputter coater. Uh, we also have a newer Leica sputter coater. Today's tutorial is going to talk about how to load and coat your sample. Uh, at the base we have a, um, a module that controls the vacuum pump within the chamber. Uh, so you'll turn this on first. Uh, then we have another uh, controller. It's the uh, the actual sputter coater head. Um, and this will only be turned on and energized once the vacuum gets to a certain level. When you first come in, you should find the chamber already closed and ready to go. If it's not, um, then that means someone left it in the wrong position. When putting the sample into the sputter coater, uh, you'll lift the head and you'll hold it like this. Uh, do not pick it up by this. Uh, these will come off. They're just merely plugged in uh, to this the surface. So you'll lift this up and underneath you can see the target, the gold target. There's also an O-ring around the outside. You just want to quickly inspect it to make sure that there's no debris. The glass can be picked up. Uh, once again, be careful. Uh, you can see where there are numerous nicks and chips out of the glass because people were not careful with it. And set it on the cloth. Uh, and this is our sample holder. The height of the sample needs to be a certain distance away from the target head. You can see that uh, on the glass there's uh, some gold already deposited, which gives you a good idea of about the range in which your top of your sample uh, needs to be. Not the bottom of the base, but the top of the sample. If you need to move it, there's a knurled knob on this. You undo it and it allows you to move the sample up and down. Once you have it the right height, you can check it to make sure that it's the right distance away. You can see that this sputter coater holds up to six samples. So you'll want to take your sample on a stub and place it in one of these. And then carefully replace the glass. There's also an O-ring on the bottom. You want to inspect that, make sure that it's clean. If it's not, um, there should be some canned air uh, nearby in order to blow out any debris. So make sure it's sealed and then once again place the holder on top and then close the valve if it's not already closed. Once your sample is in place, we're going to turn on the main base and you should hear the pumping occurring. Uh, this white knob right here uh, allows gas into this chamber, uh, which will be useful later when you're getting the right uh, amperage so it will sputter properly. You can also turn this on and it should light up. Uh, and then you would set the timer for the amount of time that you want. Now the amount of time corresponds uh, roughly to the thickness. On our uh, logbook, which you would sign in and, and write down what you're doing, uh, there is a, a chart that tells you what thickness for what time. For now we're going to do 30 seconds uh, so we don't have to wait too long on the video. Once the vacuum has reached an appropriate amount, you'll want to test this and so you'll push the test button. There's a test and a start button. The test button, as it runs, will allow you to see whether or not you're getting 15 milliamps or not. And we are, so I'm going to go ahead and start sputter coating. You'll notice that as we're sputter coating, the sample chamber now has a purple haze to it, uh, and that is the, the plasma coming from the gold. Once that's finished, it'll shut itself off. Then we just need to turn everything off and vent the chamber. Now you don't want to vent it too quickly. If you do, you might blow your sample off of the, uh, off of the stub. Typically I loosen a little bit and then maybe push back on it. There's an O-ring inside there. Uh, you should hear a slight hissing. When it's finished, you should be able to easily lift the lid. And then remove your sample.
place the whole assembly back together again to keep dust out of, of the sample area. And then I typically will close this valve back up again. And you're all finished.